Today, we're making our own table tennis rackets with one, 100, and $1,000 budgets, and have four challenges to decide whose racket is the best. Will money make a difference? Let's find out. Okay, it's time to decide who gets which budget. So each balloon has a certain amount of money, and when it explodes, we'll find out how much is in it. Oh! You got yourself 100, 100 euros. euros. I'm happy with that budget. Oh! 1,000 euros. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm gonna do with one euro. I think it's time to go build our rackets. Okay, so I got 1,000 euros to spend on my racket. So obviously, we're gonna get some diamonds. I'm looking for diamonds for a ping pong racket. Oh, that's, that sounds cool. <laughs> this is 90,000. Let's have a look at these smaller ones Perfect. then. Perfect. Maybe if I get a lot of these small diamonds. An additional rule to building the racket is that you're not allowed to use any real table tennis products. I wonder how Otto's doing with this one euro. Found a dress, some cardboard. Oh, this is looking interesting. Hardwood floor. Is there something I could do with this? Still would need to find some kind of rubber. My budget, 100 euros. I did some plans. My challenge is gonna be like, you have to do the maximum amount of ball bounces with the racket bottom. So obviously I have to come up with a racket that has a, a wide bottom. So let's head inside. This is probably a bit too wide. The next step would be to find the kind of like the shaft. Not really into that one. No. This is the <laughs> coolest handle that you have ever seen on a table tennis racket. I'm gonna have some Jedi powers against Mika and Otto. Maybe. This shopping center looks expensive. The racket has to be gold. This could be the perfect blade. It's not only a cake server, it's a fine cake server. <laughs> I'm looking for golden sheep on a table tennis racket. It's not real gold, unfortunately, because they didn't have it, but it's gonna be the most beautiful racket. And that's why my challenge is gonna be a beauty contest. So we're gonna let you guys vote who has the prettiest racket, and obviously Otto and Emil's ugly cheap rackets won't stand a chance. We're gonna go and look for a blacksmith. We can do a lot of stuff with this. You can even see through it, which is pretty cool. We need some rubber for the, for the racket. This is the one that we're looking for, anti-slip mat. Let's take this one and head towards the working space. My challenge is going to be to catch a ball that is being hit straight at you. So, if this would be my handle, then I would put this like somewhere here. Or could I even put another part there? So I have this rubber mat. I'm gonna put a piece of it on the bottom. The new sensor racket. Going live on Pongfinity.store, maybe. This is going to be the blade, and this is going to be the rubbers. Is it going to be a good racket? What do you think? Oh, of course, it's going to be a great racket. This is one of the perks of winning the 1,000 euro budget. You don't have to build it yourself. I have to be pretty careful when, when I'm playing with that. I'm going to cut two parts of this, and then we put them together, and uh, it's going to be something magical. One out of two. We're going to round the edges a bit. Oh, that's so satisfying. We need still a few more uh, screws, so let's not screw this up. This is gonna look so nice. Back to the headquarters. And now it's time to reveal the rackets. I'll go get my rackets. Let's see what, what the sensei has brought. And what? this <laughs> is my what? racket. That's a chair. It's a table tennis racket, can't you see? It looks like <laughs> from Robo Wars or something. <laughs> Very it's good solid. engineering. It's super yeah. solid. Like, how did you spend your budget? One euro. Rubber mat, zero. <laughs> Laminate, zero. Chair, zero. <laughs> Carper, zero. I still have my whole budget to use. It looks like you've spent zero euros on this. Yeah, thank, thank <laughs> no you. Offense. Are you guys ready for the next one, the 100 budget? Yes, we're yeah. ready for it. Let's go, let's go. Oh my God. <laughs> Who's that? What is that? Who's that? <laughs> <laughs> He's made a lightsaber. <laughs> is this absolutely necessary? Yeah, like, yeah. The challenge is like bounce with the bottom of the racket or something. <laughs> it's looking good, I have to say. The lightsaber part, that was 12 euros. Polycarbonate material, this is 60 euros. The rubber, that was like 70 euros. Total budget, like 80 euros. Okay guys, are you ready for my, the world's most expensive table tennis racket? What is it? Oh, 
It's the Pongfinity <laughs> Gold Racket. Wow, that's impressive. Real, oh, real diamonds. No way. Real diamonds. Really? Yeah. <laughs> you can barely see them. It's the shape of a diamond if you turn it around. Okay, so let's break down the costs. Cake cutter, 40 euros. Surface plate, 70 euros. Shaping and assembling everything, 150. Diamonds, 550. And engravements, 50. The rest, me and the racket decided to treat ourselves. How did you treat the racket? <laughs> Let's do the challenges. You guessed it absolutely right. Uh, <laughs> Just found. <laughs> I'm not feeling too confident about this. One try. Oh, oh! I think I think it was three. <laughs> I'll use this one. <laughs> That's zero. Zero. <laughs> I was trying this after I made this, yeah. and it's actually very difficult. No. Turn. No, 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 no. Wasn't that that against the rules? Was it? No. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, that's enough, Emil. No need to show off. We know you have the yeah. best racket bottom out of all three. I'll take the lead. So let's mo move on to my challenge, a ball catch. Are you going to smash it at me? Yeah, catch it without any bounces. Without any bounces? Ready? Yeah. <laughs> this is impossible. <laughs> Maybe now you see what that part of yeah. my racket is for. I feel scammed. <laughs> I feel absolutely <laughs> cheated. Good luck, Emil. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's see if you can do better. That's and it. There we That's have it. it. Both has one point. I have one point. Mika is still at zero. But maybe the next challenge is yours. We are gonna have a beauty contest. Oh, oh I yeah. like the idea. We made an Instagram poll for you guys to vote for the most beautiful racket. And at the end of the episode, we will see which one you chose as the prettiest one. Make sure to watch until the end of the video to see the results of the poll. Lassi, your challenge. So you all have your own half of a table. And who gets three points first wins. A match the three points on a triangle table. Quite simple. Oh. 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 The golden racket to the win. <laughs> you have to have the light effect. Oh. I got it. Oh no, <laughs> it's really fast. <laughs> Lightsaber is coming into play. <laughs> oh. Second point to Emil. Chance to win the game. Oh, oh good serve. Well, fast, so fast, the serve. Really Thanks. good serve. <laughs> Yes! <laughs> no, no, he won it! He won it! <laughs> but now we're even. One, one, and oh, one. Oh, that's actually true. Yeah. And it's so down the to the beauty the content. <laughs> Results I'm not, I'm are cool. in. I'm Will money count? With 18%, 18 percent, 18 percent of votes. My sight, actually. Is contestant A Otto's tear. Oh. Lightsaber against diamond gold. The most beautiful racket <laughs> ever made by the Pongfinity guys. Winner of the whole tournament is with 41 percent. It's 41. a tie game. No, are <laughs> yes. you kidding me? No. 41, 41, 18. That yeah. is great. Both well, it are equally amazing. Yeah, this was so much fun. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe.